Hello friends, I'm Parwes and this is our fifth video in Python web development with Flask framework. Now in the previous video we have uh, learned about Jinja template in Flask. So this is from the previous uh, video. And now you can see that this is our home page. And uh, uh, this is my file. I have two routes in here. So also you can uh, go to the uh, news so this is my news route now welcome to the news headline uh, in this video uh, I want to uh, uh, show you that how you can use context variable in flask now sometime you need to send data from your uh, routes in, into your HTML so let me open for example uh, this is in the index <coughs> so uh, sometime uh, for example uh, if uh, uh, we uh, we are using uh, uh, database and we want to send data from our this route to our index.html now for this we can use context variable uh, in this video I want to show you the simple example of context variable and in the next video I will show you that how you can uh, connect uh, your flask application with MySQL database and how you can retrieve data uh, and how you can send data from your uh, routes to your index.html. Now, uh, I'm using the previous example. You can see that uh, I have uh, two routes in here, and I'm going to copy this and paste this in my context. Uh, I have created a new Python file in here, and in this section, now for uh, for example, in here uh, I have uh, a name. <coughs> so for the name, uh, for example, I want to give a name. My name, I want to give it. So like this. Now in here for the uh, context variable, <coughs> uh, you can simply write, for example, in here uh, everything you want, you can write, for example, I want to write data. So data, and I am, I'm going to give it this name. Now in here, in your index.html, uh, I want to I'll write in here, uh, welcome, or I want to print this in, HT, in H3. So welcome, <coughs> Mister. And you need to add these uh, uh, when you're going to uh, read, uh, when you're when you're going to pass context variable. You need to add this. So now in here I have this. Uh, let me bring it. Uh, so in okay now in context variable I have this uh, data. So you can copy this and paste this in here. Okay. Now let me just close this and I am going to run this. <coughs> so now let me run this. <coughs> Hopefully I get uh, this uh, name in my HTML template, index HTML template. So now you can see this is my home and I have uh, retrieved this data in here. Now if I change this data, for example, uh, in my context variable, for example, I want to write another name, so John Doe. Now let me refresh my page. <coughs> so now let me save and now refresh it again now oh, let me okay yeah now you can see we have welcome mr. John too so uh, so uh, also uh, you can send data uh, using a dictionary uh, if you're familiar with Django uh, we can do that in Django uh, using uh, a dictionary so let me show you what I mean uh, I'm going to create a dictionary in here context and here I have some data so for example let me create a first uh, key value pair so for the data I'm going to write this as data from index let me create another one uh, I want to give a name so let me give another name Bob okay now in your in here you need to give your context in here so context 
okay now in the HTML file so we have our uh, data let me remove this welcome and let me just run this okay now you can see that uh, this is the data uh, this is the structure of a dictionary now if you want to retrieve the data uh, in here you can simply write data so we have uh, mm, let me just change this to my data you can do there's no problem but I want to change this so my data dot data and this is my data let me print this in h4 and uh, now I want to h2 and I'm going to write welcome mister uh, my data dot name now I'm going to save this and uh, let me refresh my page now you can see this is data from index we have and this is welcome mr. Bob so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel